Right, so back with this again. I'm going to skip the cut. I've signed a youth player through my academy to replace the one I just told Farfa Millen who had just come through. Uh, we need a full choice midfielder. He's got no full potential, so we'll see. He's 54 rated now. When I've been playing online. I've really enjoyed playing with the 4 through 3 I started the season with. They're just different tactics. So side. Um. Just working in triangles, but we'll stick with 4 4 2. I think it's especially playing the AI, it just works at this division. Go on, Reed. Wow, oh, good effort. It's nice to think I don't really have any pressure, to be honest. This first season, just play the game, try and build a squad. I can this working at playoffs, I can do well with it. It's no limit, there's no limit. I would like to get out of lead, of course, but. Go on, OP Edwards. Go on, son. Not sure. Count. Yeah! Oh, well done. I'm also watching this after, in real life, a very 2 2 draw for Torquay on BT at top of the league. I thought we matched them well. If there's any Torquay fans watching, I thought we matched them well. Um, they decided to instinct goals. Sort of unlucky rebounds, really. And yeah, the subs made a difference. That's 2 0. Ah, oh, that's 2 0. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's also made a difference. We've got a stack of lights, either he's brilliant. Um, and then, yeah, just never right off a talky team. Tackle. We're getting a good 11 together as well. Like, probably the most foreign talky team you'll ever see. <laughs> probably the most foreign team in lower leagues, but we're getting a good 11 in. Uh, start investing in Youth Academy, I think. To be fair, I think we can start doing now. Once the free agents run out. I just don't see myself, apart from the players I really want, I don't really see myself buying players now in this safe. Um, I have a few lads from like local teams that I get. I want to get Adam Randall actually from Plymouth. He was amazing for us last season. Um, and yeah, but and there might be a couple I might nick from Bristol City, but I kind of feel like this will be free agents and then Youth Academy, and then by the time I'm, I'm up the leagues, we'll be fine. I've got one one star one star youth academy in a minute, so use that one. I've got like a couple of right players for that already, so I'll probably save up a bit to try and get a few. I think I'm a few, I think I'm a few free agent signing assets away from having a youth academy because that's where I can start selling players and and then selling the squad. Go on, really. Watching this and you think, oh, I like FM more, which I I like Talkie. I'll be doing Talkie FM. Maybe a few. I've got a set up now to do FM videos, I believe. Uh, I play FM like relentlessly, so I'll do a talky one to the top as well. Be nice. I at first yeah, earlier I was thinking, oh, I don't really want to do a talky one twice, but yeah, really totally different kind of save. And if it doesn't work, I just drop do another team on FM. He's a win goals first half. We take that good opening to the episode. Which is it? 4-10, and he's even starting, and he's 31. And yes, I'm trying to sign it, so this guy. That, that could fund a bit of a youth. Now, if I want a sober and thought, the guy I'm going in for now is a year below me at secondary school. And he was sound lad, quiet, good footballer. His dad, I think, was actually a professional but he went alone at talking as well, so. And I'm trying to sign him on a YouTube series. But I need a left back, and he's good and young, so. I think the only encounter I had with this bloke at school was we were playing football and he had like he split in years. So he had year 11 and I was in year 10. As I've just signed him. Year 11, year 10. And then I think he, put, he went to put his yoghurt in a bin and then a bit splattered hit mine. He's like, oh shit, sorry. And then I was like, it's alright, mate. Um, yeah, it's really worth the story. That. And now I've signed him on FIFA. Come on. This guy was so good on loan at Torquay last season. Like, so good. Like, unbelievable. How he isn't in that team yet. That shows how well Plymouth are doing. Yeah, won again to them. Did I try and sort him for my prospect? Yeah, he's got like full potential. We need to keep him. And this one, he can go. Go straight for this guy. Right, okay, that was stupid. He's going to be less, but I'm going to have more. Familiarity with this geezer. So we've got a bit left to sell for Youth Academy, and I've got two talky loanies from last season. Buzzing. Yes, we're getting Ryan Bowman. I'm friends with him on Facebook. 
Hey, it was decent for us of about 2014. He's gone out of a good career. So. I might get his keeper. I need two keepers. And I can just sell him. Like, it's better than Cobb, but Cobb's amazing. But then I can just sell this guy when he gets unhappy, so. Or swap him. So I'm getting assets. Which will be worth more when I want to get Youth Academy, so. Now, I've. And there's Torquay team. I've basically got an ex Torquay team. I've got OP Edwards, Covelin, Ryan Law, Adam Randall, Reed, Bowman. It's looking bloody nice. What's up? Uh, Johnny! Oh! Wait, Jane was a cult hero at Torquay. Gambian striker. His interview came in like 17, 18. Come on. Oof, 17, 18 year old, like high school goals. And from that moment, he scored a lot of goals. As I said, I think I said in the previous episode, he had a really bad knee injury. A couple of them, actually, which has sort of hindered him. He was on at Newport last season, had one. He had a bad one um, at the start. When he, he, he was breaking through Bristol City's team initially. I think he scored for. League Cup of the season as well, so against Forest Green. So, yeah. One to watch, definitely. Ian Wright is a fan of us. So. Go on. Johnny. Ah. Go on. Johnny, this one. Oh, I can't score. Can't score with him. Once he scores one, he's off. Go on, that's the best one. Oh, for fuck. Yeah, he done score goals. I enjoyed doing both this and the uh, football manager one because obviously this is more the fantasy one. When I'm signing all the ex players and I'm building a team, when the, the you know the other ones more realistic, a bit more gritty. I'll make the run back post. That's what I want my striker to be, Duke. What I think I'm going to do is put a left striker as like gets in behind and a right striker as a target man because the, I just Duke and Bowman are more than my target men and then Reed Janney are uh, they're getting behind that. I just want to see something. I want to see those runs made at the back post. I've done the first one. That's not going to work. Go on! Ah! Oh, that had to go. That was a one. Draw win, draw win. That'll do us. Other chances, other chances. What a what a save, Covelin. Unless the oh shit. Okay, that's been coming. Go on. Have you missed? For me, I, I haven't had a hope in this game. Has to be. Reed. Yes! Against the right play. Get in. Reedy. Oh, wow. Ah. That was coming. Cold man. All the saves you make, you let that in. For fuck's sake. Oh god. This has not ended up going well. Well, that was dreadful. And um, yeah, camera died. Didn't end very well. Good it. I enjoyed it. We signed some good old ex players. And yeah, I've got 14 shots to two. Jesus.